So we decided to do a resolution. It doesn't have to be signed by the President. I'm glad we did it. It was hard. Senator Murray, Senator Sessions did a good job allowing us to move forward on that. So now it's time we go forward. We've got a budget resolution we passed here in the House. I am in the Senate. We want to meet with the House. And work Let the Senate proceed to consideration of Cal number 33, each Conres, that the amendment which is the desk, the text of S. Conres 8, the budget resolution passed by the Senate, be inserted in lieu thereof. That H. Conres 25, as amended, be agreed to, the most reconsidered be considered, made and laid on the table. That the Senate insist on its amendment, request a conference of the House on the disagreeing votes of the two bodies, and the chair be authorized to appoint conference on the part of the Senate, all with no intervening action or debate. Objection, Mr. President. Senator from Texas. Reserving the right to object, one of my concerns is that this conference report could be used to pass a reconciliation bill that would increase the debt ceiling without sufficient input from the minority party uh, and without addressing the fundamental structural spending problems we have at the federal government that are, le is, are leading to our unsustainable debt. Uh, this concern, I believe, is well-founded in history in that reconciliation bills have been used to increase the, increase the debt ceiling at least three times in 1986, in 1990, and in 1993. And so for that reason, reserving the right to object, I would ask consent that the leader modify his request so that it not be in order for the Senate to consider a conference report that includes tax increases or reconciliation instructions to increase taxes or to raise the debt limit. Mr. President. Is there objection to the modified request? Mr. I, I would make a comment before Maj majority leader. a decision on that. The Senate considered the budget, and that's an understatement. <laughs> uh, we voted on more than 100 amendments, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago. It was hard. Uh, the votes were hard. The Senate passed its budget. It should now do a conference that the Senate passed. It's our budget. The Senator for Texas was on the losing side. He had his view, and it lost. But now he wants us to agree by consent to adopt the losing side's view, or else he's not going to allow us to go to conference. For more than two centuries, I repeat, the two bodies are able to go work out their differences. Senate passes something, the House passes something. You talk about regular order, that's it. We are able at that time to sit down and talk about the differences. Debt ceiling, he wants to talk about that. He wants to talk about taxes. Taxes, we're happy to do that. But let's do it in the context of regular order. That's what we should be doing around here. My friend from Texas is like the schoolyard bully. Uh, he uh, pushes everybody around and is losing. And instead of playing the game according to the rules, he not only takes the ball home with him, but changes the rules. He, that way, no one wins, except the bully tries to indicate to people he has one. We're asking the Republicans to play by the rules and let us go to conference. I don't think it takes a lot of wizardry to figure out that we know how the American people feel about what they want done with this country. They want us to get on a pathway of gross economic vitality, which has been hindered. Now, the Republicans have one uh, they have things they want to do. We have things we want to do. Why can't we sit down as reasonable men and women and work out our differences? That's what a conference is all about. So I object to what my friend suggests. It's, it's actually fairly ridiculous, if you want the truth, that before we go to conference, determine what, what you want, are going to do or not do in the conference. That's not how we do things around here. Objection is heard. Is there objection to the original request? Mr. President. Senator from Texas. I wasn't aware we were in a schoolyard. I, there's either an objection or no objection. Let's hear if this, we've had enough of reserving the right to object. Order. Reserving the right to object. There are Mr. Order. Mr. Order. Mr. President, there's no such thing, okay? Mr. President, I object. Is there objection? Yes, I object. Objection is heard.